Welcome to the OK Good Little View channel. Okay guys, and as you might have heard, last month we were, we thought we had the final crate, and Universal Yum sent us another one from the land of everywhere, and so guys, a hearty thank you from, away forever. from okay. Team OK Good Review for another crate. Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. So everywhere is multiple countries that they send out for the holidays. Uh, there is last year's box if you guys would like to look at that, but seriously, thank you Universal Yums for sending us one last go around of crates. We did not renew or anything like that. They just sent us another one, so thank you very much Universal Yums. And let's take a look at guys. This will be the last one though, unless they continue to send us, unless they continue to send them to us for some reason, but we didn't, we didn't subscribe any further guys. So let's go through and take a breakdown guys. And look at our surprise. Three. Everywhere. Holiday 2019. Universal Yums. This very pretty red cardboard. <laughs> I don't know how I can stall anymore, guys. Let's voila! Whee! Well, land of everywhere. Oh Yay! my gosh. Okay, so here it is, guys. Holiday Adventure. And let's see what countries are, okay, let's take a look at this. Does it say what, oh, here it is, Leo. Guess what, okay, so here's the recap 2019. There is, guys, a crate for every one of these from our channel, guys, in the Universal Yams playlist. So, from Germany, we have lemon wafers. Italy, we have amaretto cookies. Ukraine, we have creme brulee chocolate, ooh. In Israel, we have popping chocolate. And from South Korea, Choco Corn, Colombia, Garlic Plantain Chips, Indonesia, Bang Bang White, white Wafers. Oh, oh my gosh, is Bakey going to be in here? We have Lush Mosaic Cookies from Turkey. We have Pomegranate Jellies from Greece. We have Pischinger Regal Mandel from Austria. And we have... Orange Montecato from Spain. And we have a bunch of other stuff as well. Will my will let's see if my son Bakey is gonna show up in here. No, I don't see it. I don't see Bakey in here. Okay guys. So there's a special reason for the berry in his glass. And winter is fennel in Italy. Interesting. Chinese zodiac, this baby is a pig. But babies born in the next year will be rats. Next year is the year of the rat. Reindeer are the only deer species in which males and females grow antlers. Leah, did you know that? No. I didn't know that either. Guys, just comment let us know if you knew that. All of the other reindeer. <clears throat> no Filipino holiday or Universal Yum's holiday box is complete without purple yam treats. And today menorahs hold wax candles, but they originally burned all the way. Oh wow, that's, I did not know that, that's cool. So, uh, okay, there's this, and do you want to mark off anything on this? Should we just throw it into the wind? Let's throw it into the wind. Let me, let me do it now. Come on! All right, Leah's got to throw it into the wind also. This is the wind. Ah! <laughs> they can return to you, it's a boomerang! <laughs> Protect your eyes, guys. Okay, buddy. So, yeah, sorry, guys. This is going to be more of a screwing around video than usual, apparently. <laughs> All right, so we have here oh, a mental chips from France. France! We have here Snackle black truffle potato chips from... Where do you think these are, buddy? Where do you think these are? Oh, you read it already, you see? <laughs> okay. We have... Black currant flavored ice cream. This is also Spain. Raspberry. Is this? Or maybe potato crisp. Poland or Czechoslovakia. Oh, this, this is, looks so this good. Is Polish. <gasps> what you got, Look buddy? It. It's raspberry crisp. Oh my gosh, raspberry potato chips, also from España. 
España. We have uh, chips here from France again. Who may braise? I don't know what any of these mean. Oh, here it is, guys. Here's that Philippine shortbread. Oh, and here's those wafers. Whoppers! That's a big bag. All right, let's see. Do you remember which country this was from? That one, I think. Oh, this is from. lemon orange and strawberry whoppers. And HR, HR, HR. HR. HR, where is HR? Hmm. What is this? Philippine Hungry, shortbread. maybe? Philippine shortbread. Oh, yeah, I got one of those already. Let's put that over here. Oh, we have cranberry cookies from Italy. We have Chocomonk almond chocolate from this limited winter edition from Germany. Whatever Two of those. Says. Oh, okay. Whatever the heck that Mr. Says. Ito. Is this Japanese cookies? Mr. Roboto cookies. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably. I want to say this is Japanese, actually. Nambulite. I could be wrong. Amer Cream, Prima, American. Alpine nut cake. Prima Americana. Chocolate coated biscuit with cream filling. That's what this, this is. This is, uh, is this Switzerland? This is cream filling cookies. Oh, yeah. And we have a double of it. Uh, where is it from? From Americana. So that seems like it's, uh, from us. Uruguay. Okay, we got garlic what? salt filled sticks. Oh. What? Oh, weird. Ew, 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 ew. This might be interesting. Probably hungry again. <laughs> what we got here? Oh, milk chocolate coffee. Yeah. And this hey. is the cinnamon cookie. Ooh, this one I'm interested in. Guys, we might not be trying that coffee because we both hate coffee. So we have uh, wafers here. Oh no, gravity strikes again. La Mixed baklava. Laundry. Laundry? Wait. <laughs> oh, this is uh, some orange cookies apparently. Okay, and we've got also, is this the fennel cakes? I think it is from Italy also. We have a lot of snacks. Okay, food. all right, yeah, let's have the box back and Let's start this thing Let's off. Let's grab those chips off the floor. Yeah. Grab the chips off the floor. Yeah. All right, guys. So, okay, guys, as is our custom, there you can see everything before us that came out of this box that we have to get to. And it looks like Leo has picked out the raspberry chips. The raspberry chips. Okay. Because I really wanted to try those. All right. Yeah, why not? We had these before. I don't know if you remember or not, dude, but. Actually, I think Leo wound up eating the entire bag. So there they are, little pinkish. Good. Whoa. There you go. Now. Oh. Mmm. 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 Love this. Let's flavor it together. Mm. No good for me. Mm. <laughs> Leo seems to find some favor. All right. Creme Americana. Oh, that looks good. All right, guys, and of course, mm -hmm. I've got. That was quite delicious. Mr. Plate here. That was really good. Yeah, Leo really liked those strawberry. Leo really liked those strawberry salt chips. All right, here's the Creme and Americana. Strawberry, they're raspberry. Right, raspberry salt chips. Oh. I'll take the bigger half. Okay, here you go. Ooh. All right, guys, and you can see it looks oh. like a. Gigantic mm. Oreo. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. You know what it's like? It's like a really good Oreo mm. with regular chocolate and, and as an extra bonus of cream filling. What do you think? I love it. You know it makes me want to shout. Not really. All right. Chocolate chips. Man, that was good. That creme americana was so far the best thing we've had for me. Black truffle, truffle chips, okay. Aren't those like truffle with candy? Nope. Truffle, guys, um, I'm assuming you out there know what a truffle is, so I'm gonna, let me try these. They look like they're normal. What do you think? Hmm. Weird 
flavor. So that's what a truffle looks like. Truffle guys, as we all know, is a type of mushroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they taste different. <laughs> Ew, they're, 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 they're funky. I don't. The dark flavor. I don't like them in the chips either. I sort of like this. Do you really? Well, I've liked one thing so far, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go with this uh, purple cookie. And I'm excited about this. Oh, wow, it's like a hockey puck. Look at it. Hockey? You can play hockey with a cookie now. Yeah, well, we'll find out when we try to cut it. All right. All right, which half do you want? The bigger. Okay, here you go. All right, guys, you can see here. Had a bizarre flavor. Mm. Oh, whoa! These are interesting. These are like sponges. Mhm. Mm mm. What do you think? Tastes dusty. It does. It does taste dusty. Yeah. That is really good. So this is a purple yam cookie. <laughs> Did it taste different after I told you what it was? I think it's pretty good. What's the yam element to it? Yam is, is sort of like a sweet potato. That's why you get that little bit of a dusty texture. They use it to make the flour. <laughs> Alright, so our star had a little mess out there with the um, purple shortbread. I thought it was really good. Okay, we're gonna go with Whoppers. That was incredibly gross. <laughs> Leo's not a fan of the shortbread. All right. I thought the Filipino shortbread was great, actually. All right, so there's supposed to be different flavors in here. Let's see what kind of this is. Are they all together? This is obviously strawberry, so here. Supposed to be a lemon and orange somewhere. Oh wait, are they all in the same thing? Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Oh, that is really good. Mm. That's um. Oh yeah, so it is. That's weird. That is so good. It's not a combination I would have thought of, but uh, yeah, they were really good. Okay. And. Let's see, how about these? Well, okay. These are just uh, breadstick rings. Oh, yeah. Oh, that might. See? Look. So you, uh... It's like a pea almost. Hmm. Um. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of fennel. This tastes good. Fish. It's got a really strong fennel flavor to it. I'm not a big fan of fennel like that. I guess it's sort of overpowering it. Is that a yes for you? Oh, Leo's going with the mentos. And we'll see if we can find out what flavor these are. And, uh, let's see. Oh, looks like these are cheese flavored. Cheese cheese! Mental cheese. Remember those, remember those that we had in the Japan crate that were four cheeses, guys? We also have an entire Japan crate playlist, guys, which is... Those four cheeses were well over a year if you guys want to check that out. Are they good? Oh. Mm. I like these. I think you'll like them, yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I feel like the cheese is sort of overpowering the chip. 
a chip is a really odd texture. That actually was the same problem, guys, I had with the um, the chips in the Japan crate, and then I felt like the texture was really weird. But you want to go with those? Mm -hmm. Okay, my pick. No thanks. I'm gonna go with those here. These are uh, salt salted filled sticks. So it looks like is it clean in here. Are these like a savory pocky? It looks like a pretzel. Oh, 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 whoa! You will definitely like these. Where are they? These are like um, breadsticks, like those breadsticks that you like. These are really intense, though. They're pretty good. I agree. They're really intense. Holy moly. What are they? They're garlic sticks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're very intense, huh? Yeah, they're, they're a little intense. <laughs> maybe we should pick a... Maybe we should pick a chocolate next. Sort of good. Huh? I don't like it. You didn't like it? Okay. Too intense. It was. They're very intense. Back to the chips. What is this supposed to be? I don't know. I give it a try. Okay. Kool Aid braise. And uh, let's see if we can find what it is. Just. I want to say this is chicken. But I don't know. I can't smell anything here. Let's just try one. Hmm. Are those chicken? I'm not sure. Here. I'm not. I'm losing my skin. They do kind of taste like roasted chicken. Not bad. Alright, what are you picking? I thought I just picked. Oh, you did? All right, what am I picking? Oh, I think I'm gonna go with baklava. I'm skipping again, because I don't really want to try baklava. So this is basically a honey-soaked wafer. And there's pistachios in it, usually. So if you like honey and pistachios, see? And it's still not fun. Okay, well guys, I will try it instead then. Alright, and here we go. Jabi baklava. Oh, Jabri. Jabri. I don't know if this is... Oh, we got a bird's nest. See? And I want to get this all over my hands, guys. So let's get a fork in there and grab one. I think this is um, Turkish. This doesn't seem to me like. Uh, well, Jordan. I was gonna say it doesn't seem like the Greek version to me. And um, I take this bird's nest. This is excellent, though. So good. Mmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are these? They're um, it's gingerbread with it's gingerbread with black currant icing. Black what? Black currant frosting. We'll try it. This looks sweet enough for me to love. Oh, these are these are way good. This is one of my favorite things from the last one. All right, so we. Are, Look at the oh. heart! Oh. Oh. Alright. I'll take the bigger half. Okay, so. Alright, a little piece of love. We're gonna split our heart. I'll take the bigger half. I'll take the bigger one. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, here it is. That's quite good. Mm. I'm not a gingerbread fan. What, what country is this from? 
Um, this one is Hungry Poland Insane. Um, that little bit of tartness in, in the frosting is, I like that. Mmm, that, that's a delicious element. Let's see here, um, it is from Poland. Oh, yeah, that's what I said before. Okay guys, it looks like our star has left, but we only have a few more things left guys, so it's you and me, let's whip through them together. Alright, so we've got here an Alpine nut cake, and let's break it open so you guys can see it. Hmm. I'm not sure what this flavoring is. It's really interesting though. I believe this is a Swiss cake. Hmm. Very interesting. Definitely do not get a lot of snacks like that in America. Oh, you get one of these crates. And that's the beauty of this. If you like to go food exploring, these are a pretty easy way of doing it. Alright, so we got here almonds and chocolate. Excellent German chocolate. Yeah. It's quite good. There's just a different feel to the German milk chocolate than the American and, and my preference is definitely with the German. Alright we got whoppers. Oh okay. And I can't tell what's in it. Whatever that thing is. Hmm. Very cream heavy. So they're saying it's an apple cinnamon flavor. Apple cinnamon pastry of some kind. That's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Bianca Belgian chocolate. We have white cinnamon cookie and if we got a piece probably broken up for us there whoops take a look at mm. Mm. Oh, this is way too sweet for me all right, and let's go with uh, cranberry cookies. There they are. Hmm. Little biscuits. Hey, old biscuits, what? These would be great for having with a nice stiff black teeth. They're, um, you're in biscotti territory here. Flavor is good. White chocolate with red berry compote. Hmm. Whoa! Look at this. Let's bust one of those off. Fresh is basically on the bottom. Oh man. This should not be as good as it is. I have like a little bit of heaven right here. Oh man. Mm. 
Mm -mm -mm. All right, we've got Tangly. All right, let's see what we got in here. A little plastic bit of biscuits here. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, this is like cantaloupe. Melon? Ooh, that's weird. This doesn't seem wintry to me. It seems very summery. That's, uh... Hmm. Very bright. The flavor is very bright. Very assertive. And last but not last, we have pretzels and caramel, and it looks like almonds. All right, let's see what we got here. This is from Mr. Ito. make of this. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Very intricate design here. Yeah, I'm sure it's like a pretzel. Interior is caramel esque. I feel like there's a hint of maple possibly here. Hmm. These are um, overall the most intriguing in this entire crate. Speaking of that, let's take a look at what all's in here. Okay, Holiday Adventure, Japan, Croatia, Spain, Germany. And this is a good way to uh, to end the season, guys. Again, thank you very much to Universal Youngs for the bonus crate. We really appreciate it. Very enjoyable as usual. And. So guys, let me see if I can get this for you. If you guys are into this sort of stuff, Universal Yums is a very intriguing crate, guys. And I, I definitely recommend them if you guys are into this sort of thing. Uh, pause the screen if you want to read that. Upcoming events. Poor color choice here. White on light blue. We've got... Some foods and flavors here. We got local language stuff here. Of course, Hanukkah, the festival of lights, the Jewish celebration, guys. We've got Christmas. And there you go. A little bit of that. Chinese New Year, January of uh, 2020. And there you guys go. The Year of the Pig will be ending, and the Year of the Rats. Fourth coming. All right. Let's get to it. So we've got the raspberry potato chips. Leo liked these a lot better than I did both times. These are from Spain. We have Nubilate Crema Americana, um, and this is, this is really good. This is actually one of the better cookies here. This is from Uruguay. This was outstanding. If you guys come across these, definitely get them. The Alpine Nut Cake, and this is, uh, I believe, Swiss. 
That was very, very interesting. I'm not sure if I loved it, but it was interesting. Okay, and of course we have these fennel crackers. Didn't, we're not a fan of those. Chocomunk roasted almond. Man, I'm telling you, if there's somebody that knows how to do chocolate better than the Germans, I'm not sure who that is. I think they always do a great job. This thing I loved. So this is Ube, this is a, this is a purple yam from um, the Philippines, and this was really, really good. This this thing I liked a lot. Our star uh, struggled with it once he found out what it was. <laughs> okay, we've got the roasted chicken potato chips. I thought they did a really good job of hitting chicken. I just having just a strong meat flavor in chips is, is just it, being in America. It really kind of throws me, and it, it, I think it's all just because of what I'm used to. We have the Jordanian mixed baklava here. That was also a touch dry, but pretty good. We have the Wiener Apple Strudel, and this is, uh, where is this, Austria? Yep, Austria. This is interesting, it's a little heavy for me, but interesting. Oh, yes, the garlic sticks. These are intense! All the way from Croatia. Ah, uh, wheat pretzel sticks with garlic filling. Again, like, there's just no, there's no, there's no comparable thing like that in America just like if you want stuff like this you really have to get something that you know will go worldwide like this we got the white cinnamon cookie Belgian chocolate overly sweet for me not uh, not a big fan of that Mr. Ito pretzel sand almond caramel and this thing is it doesn't say that there's any maple. I'm just kind of looking for it here, guys. But I, I kind of felt that. But but this was by far the most interesting thing in this crate. And definitely, like, th this whole crate has been a wonder, guys. I love these. Like, the Round the World ones, I think, are almost more interesting to me. I mean, you're always going to leave regional favorites out. But I really like it where they do multiple countries in the same box. Like, that, that kind of thing, I, I really enjoy We've got the gingerbread from Poland, current flavor gingerbread. The uh, the balance here was just excellent. We've got the black truffle potato chips. I honestly didn't like those either. I'm not a black truffle and me are don't really see too eye to eye. Like I like it in a very limited setting. Uh, Belgian chocolate with coffee. I'm done probably with coffees entirely. Co coffee is not a thing I've ever liked, and I, I like it even less uh, as I get older. So we've got this uh, wafer with lemon, orange, and strawberry cream, and of course, it looks like we have Croatia again here. These are, I would not have thought to put those flavors together. Very interesting surprise here. Uh, a mental chips, a mental, of course, French cheese. Uh, the texture of those chips I did not enjoy. The flavor was okay. We've got the cranberry cookies but again these were a lot like biscotti biscotti is fine if you have something liquid to go with it if you don't it can be a little um it's just overly dry i guess for me okay we got melon so there it is cantaloupe hokkaido melon from uh, japan odd to me very odd but and we've got the shakamonk red berry compote again this was just a little little slice of heaven here. This was a really, really good, really good uh, tasting treat there. So we've got, if you guys ever want to make Chinese New Year dumplings. And this would be something I wouldn't actually mind trying sometime. Definitely want to not have chives and scallions in it, but the rest of it looks pretty good. Who knows, maybe we'll even do that. That might be kind of fun to actually make those. We got Kinder Punch, and this is a uh, German holiday punch with, let's see, we got orange juice, apple juice, cherry juice, and a bunch of other stuff in there. Cola de Mono, and this is a, uh, well, it doesn't seem like it's actually cola. <laughs> It's not like, in the context we think of it, it's not like a carbonated beverage. 
It looks kind of like a uh, horchata a little bit here. Okay, so we've got Ringing in the Ears Traditions, and there are a bunch of wacky ones here. You can look through some of those guys online. Possibly they'll be on their site, but if not, you can look at wacky New Year's Traditions, guys, if that is something you're interested in. And we've got... Okay, looks like uh, the first three crates 2020 planned out. February, March, April. I'm assuming January is in here somewhere, too. And there's a couple snacks. And, okay. There's a, a puzzle to figure it out. And there's some more trivia stuff here. And we've got a supersized tradition where you're trying to make a gigantic lantern, I guess. And the clue to next month's box. Our next destination is full of fairy tale splendor. A huge castle, cricket forest, and a mermaid defender. England. The yums too are enchanting. You'll be totally transfixed by dark chocolate marshmallows and poppy seed sticks. So th this, this seems like the mermaid defender would be to me, Lady of the Lake, that kind of a thing. The Crooked Forest could be a lot of different things, but I'm gonna say this probably England, guys. We will not be joining the festivities to find out, as I said before, last month, and then uh, we got a bonus crate for this month, but this is our last Universal Yums crate. Uh, we've had a great time doing it, guys. We really enjoyed it, but we have to make changes to the channel for 2020 and you can look through our blogs, look through our blog if you guys are interested in why that is happening. There will be a blog at the very last post of 2019 guys, which will get into that, what the actual specific changes are, but one of them is that this will be the last Universal Young Crates. Again, like I said, barring if they're going to send us more bonus crates, but we will not be renewing. Japan Crate as well will be finished as of February, so it, it's a shame guys, we really enjoyed doing these, these were a lot of fun, but you know as the saying goes, events are upon us guys, and uh, we are forced to adapt, I guess basically, or to not survive, so we're trying to keep this going as long as we can, definitely enjoy everybody coming by and checking things out. But there it is, guys. December 2019 holiday everywhere, super everywhere crate, guys. The holiday adventure. Guys, if you did enjoy our look at this, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already, guys. I don't know whether or not there will be comments or the blue notification bell enabled for this video. If there is, please utilize one or both of them if you guys are inclined to. Whether, guys, there is or not, we do put all our updates on our Twitter feed guys and you can comment to specific videos there if you care to do that as well. We also have Twitter specific content as well. So if you guys use Twitter and want to follow us there guys, we would certainly love to have you. But there it is. One more look at the December 2019 Holiday Adventure. Super everywhere mixed crate guys. Once one more time, thank you to Universal Yums. We've, uh, we've definitely enjoyed all the crates that they've come up with. For 2019 and we hope possibly at someday in the future to be able to resume those. Anyway we'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.